Oh, hold on, let me do that. Um... There, there we go. We'll just do that. Nito. I agree, Blink LA. Wait, what, what link happened? You're probably fine, but what was the. What do you link? You're wasting your breath, Angelito. Well, thank you, Drunk Possum. Okay. Now enjoy it. Here is giraffe mode. So this game is a 3D beat em up, and uh, you have to run through areas, beat the shit out of everyone, and then, uh, yeah, that's the best I can describe it. Uh, we use something called giraffe mode because it's funny. Uh, this game is essentially Roadhouse. A lot of people define it this way. These masks I pick up are health. The little crows on the ground tell you where to go. All characters get giraffe mode, yes. All characters get giraffe mode. Hey, clown, hey. You're gonna hear that line a lot. The best way of fighting is always the roundhouse, or the spinning kick, whatever you wanna call it. That is the best way of fighting. Yes, it is a 3D vengeance. The Whirlwind is truly the best way of fighting these guys. I'm not kidding when I say it. The Whirlwind is truly powerful. Is that Buyo Buyo? This game has... Sovereign, this has Giraffe Mode and Stickman Mode. You know what Stickman is? Everyone is Stickman. I'm glad they nailed the atmosphere of LA. By the way, you can also do a flip. I'm not kidding, by the way. You genuinely roundhouse everyone. There's also weapons in the game. We're not going to be using a lot of them, but we'll get to some of them in due time. The best strategy I've found is just constantly roundhousing. That's not a roundhouse? Every time I try saying something else, people say it's a roundhouse. I call, I've call i been calling it a lariat kick. Or a spinning kick. But then chat keeps saying it's a roundhouse. Also, I should mention, every time you walk off screen, it loads. Every time. Hey, clown face. Enjoy Hey Clown Face, by the way. Oh, I gotta do the flip. Oh, now we're cooking. So the reason why this kick's so good too is because they hit multiple enemies at once. However, if they get too close, they'll start headbutting them. Hey, clown face! The the flip does come in handy later. Hey, clown face! <laughs> hey, clown face! People keep saying it's a roundhouse. What is it then? I've been calling it a Larry, but then people tell me it's not a Larry. What is it? It's a spinning kick, right? Blame chat. I just say what people tell me to call it. Spinning heel? That sounds more accurate, right? That's like a spinning kick. Hey, clown face. Either way, hey, clown face is a very big theme. Larry to spinning punch? Yeah, a, a Larry, a spinning, you know, a Larry kick would make sense then in that case. A lariat kick would make sense. That's actually accurate. So I've been right this whole time. Come here. Walk into this. Clown win. I've thought about it. All right, now, now we're cooking. Look at this. Walk into it. Also, I haven't mentioned another thing. So chat, you may not have noticed this yet, but with this game, um... How do I put this? Whenever you get within a certain range of someone, that you forced walk. 
So normally you could run if you're far away enough. However, in many cases, you're going to be forced to walk. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you can't actually run if you're close enough. Alright, I have to go over there and beat his ass. I said this game was terrible. I have never said anything otherwise. It says in the title, this is my worst speedruns. Should you? You can if you want, Mummy Napkin. You can if you want. I'll probably make the experience of this game much worse. Hey, clown face. My favorite part is the little crows on the ground telling you where to go. Also, I learned that if you spend too much time in one area, the enemies power up. There we go. Also, uh, did I forget to mention that whenever the guns hit the ground, uh, they explode? All the guns in this game will explode. I I'm not sure why, but you'll see it coming up. Well, yeah, we have on giraffe mode, Gutasis. It's giraffe mode. Hey, clown face. Good shit. Wait, that's not right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, there they are. By the way, you guys like ska bands? Because these are like ska band enemies trying to fight us. Well, also, this isn't Brendan Lee. This is the guy from the second movie. It's giraffe mode. It's a special mode that this game has called giraffe mode. That allows us to become the giraffe. It's great, isn't it? They look like ska musicians. Eat veal. Also, time for the guys who say eat veal. Eat veal. Alright, come on. Good fight. They bolt down for the count. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned either the worst or the best part yet, chat. If you die in the game, you get sent back to the main menu. There are no continues. Which is why the continue functions allow to use cheat codes, because that's how the game expected you to continue. I don't actually know where you get the cheat codes. Veal is baby cows? I don't know why they're threatening us to eat veal, but yes. Oh, yeah. Also, now it's time for the aw oh, yeahs. These guys just keep saying, oh yeah. They're my favorite. They also throw shit at you. Yeah, this guy's ash something. There we go. Yep. By the way, this gives no noticeable benefits. In fact, you're probably worse off by using giraffe mode. I know the game can actually crash at some point. This is an official PlayStation 1 copy, by the way. This isn't me just doing emulator or some shit. The game legitimately crashes if you have on giraffe mode. <laughs> At certain points in the game. There we go. Oh, yeah. A wheel kick? We'll call it that, then. It's called the wheel kick. Realistically, we've already been kind of a few levels through the game, by the way. Also, I like how they're trying to chest bump each other. <laughs> Isn't that what you do, chat? You just chest bump? Wait, is he still up? He is. Good. He's down. Just chest bumping. 
By the way, yes, this is on the docket for me uh, for AGDQ. This will be one of my submissions. Eat steel. So, fun fact. There's guns in this game. Guns instantly murder you. How do you avoid the guns? You crouch. And then you strike. Well, I know they say eat steel, but it sounds like eat veal. The upside, though, is you can duck the bullet and they'll shoot each other. They can't aim any lower. So the strategy, it does sound like eat eel, but I think they're saying eat steel. Oh my god, he hit me. What? How? Also, yes, this is tank controlled. Shit, he's powering up. Come on, come here. Hold on, here's the strategy if they're too far away. God, not that. Come on, you dick. Dude. Fuck off. I can't see shit. This might be a bad idea. Hold on. This is where we have loads, by the way. Hold on, I was on the boat. Good. Jesus Christ. I can't tell how hard it is to see with these on. I might need to refund these. I don't think I could actually play with this. I might need to actually get rid of these. Hold on, let me try this again without the glasses and see how it goes. That was a point of redemption. I might refund it though. Like, I, I don't think I can actually do this. Hold on, let me try without it. Oh yeah, look how much better that is. Yeah, this game's too fucking dark. All right, once this is once this fight's done, I'll go back to the glasses. There we go. Hold on. It's much easier if you can see. Holy shit! There we go. I'm not giving a refund for that, by the way. I don't think this game does deserve an HD remake. Good lord. Beautiful kicks. Beautiful kicks. Isn't it great? Nope, only this one to my knowledge. Oh, here's a fun speedrunning skip I found. Oh, not yet. Uh, one more. Who's left? This guy. Come here. Come on. No veal eating today. Time to die. Just keep kicking him in the throat. One. Two. Come on. Walk into this. Walk into it. There's a reason why they call me the windmill. It's also RNG on if they block or they take the hit. Alright, here's a minor speedrun skip I found. Check this out. Damn. Got it. It's incredibly minor. I don't know why it works. Hey, Nishi has it going. Oh, hold on. So you see that gun right there? I'm picking it up in a moment here. Because believe it or not, I can actually use guns. You just can't get them normally. What do you skip with that, with that flip? Uh, blowing up the barrels. It's actually really deadly if you walk into them. 
Hey. Roundhouse, roundhouse, flip, spin kick. There we go, back in action. Back in action. Good stuff. All right, so we're gonna pick up this gun now. Wait. There. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Now we can move. So you notice I grabbed a gun, right? I bet you're wondering, what's this gun going to do? Just watch. Just watch with this gun. It's pretty powerful. It's a rocket launcher. He's dead. And now the best puzzle in the game. You leap 10 feet in the air just to pop on these rails. Holy shit. I'm, hold on. I have the lift. I cannot see shit. Oh my god. That is impossible to see with the 3D glasses on. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're good. Yep, a homing rocket launcher. You have to avoid those little bits of electricity on this. By hopping between the two rails. This is the only time this game mechanic happens, by the way. Alright, better. Oh, yeah. I should mention, by the way, I can be hit by my own bullets. <laughs> and if I fall down, the gun blows up. This happens with any gun in the game. Oh, yeah. Eat heal. You see, they're saying eat veal, I'm saying eat heal. Oh. Eat heal. Alright, come on. Come on. Walk into this. Walk into it. Good shit. Eat heal. Eat eel's my favorite so far. Oh, eat heal's more accurate. I'm pretty sure, again, it's supposed to be Eat Steel. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. Come on. Keep going. Walk into it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Hold on. Oh god, he pushed me! I think it, I know it's supposed to be eat steel. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Down for the count. They didn't even drop a mask. By the way, there is actually uh, polygon limits in this game. So too many spawn, you'll have to wait. You have to kill others before others spawn. Alright, he dropped a mask. That's good. You can see why I'm waiting to AGDU to submit this game now, right? Hey, clown face. Oh, yeah. So, they gave me a shotgun. The strategy of the shotgun is crouch down, and then pop. Pop. And then, boom. We don't need guns where we're going. We're going to beat ass. Infinite ammo? Nope. Ammo is limited. You only get six shots. You can find ammo on the ground, but if you run out of ammo, you throw the gun at them, and then it'll blow up. Thing with the follow. Oh, God. No, stop chest bumping them. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. He's a, the, the doors are made for giraffes. That's why. Oh, God. Time to die, friend. All 
Alright, he's down. Also, melee weapons aren't the greatest, as you can see here. Like, I'd rather just use my fist or my feet. It seems to work a lot better. He ducks through the door. Alright, hold on. Back to action. Look at this. It's called giraffe mode. They're giraffes. There are about 900 people watching giraffe mode right now. This is great. Well, guns are actually good, but you, we don't always get the guns. There's limited on ammo, too. And also, you can't actually use weapons in the boss fights. The bosses can, but we can't. Speaking of which, you ready for the first boss fight? Why does this game even have giraffe mode? All, all good games have giraffe mode. Come on. It's time for Spider Monkey, the first boss of the game. There's no running allowed during the boss fights. I need to actually take this off for a moment. Hold on. Okay, nice. No, not the double kick! Don't do the nut stomp. Okay, I didn't do the nut stomp. I did my karate kick. Also, this adds a new move. The nut stomp and the karate kick. They allow you to knock down enemies. It only works during these fights, and I don't know why. I'm not sure why it works, but the dick stomp is very, very necessary. Good shit. There we go, look at this. Dick stomp. Giraffe mode is imperative in all games. Also, the spinning kick works even better on bosses, if you can land it. I don't know why. Spider Monkey is now dead. He is now dead. Apex, it's giraffe mode. Level one complete. That's actually like level five. Isn't it great? Also, here's the strategy here. Throw skulls at them. Because those skulls can instantly murder you. Oh my god, hold on. I didn't notice this guy picked a rocket launcher. Wait a minute. Alright. Back to old reliable, baby. Old oh god, it blew up. Those are skulls? There are dynamite skulls, yes. Alright, come on. There's also stickman mode, which makes all the characters rail thin. You can combine them, but it's almost impossible to see with both the rail mode or the stickman mode and uh giraffe mode. Also, like I mentioned, you can't run away, so you get this awkward fucking, like, stepping if you're too close to people. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, even the follow. Got him. He's down. Alright, now I can leave. I 
Exactly, that must be why. That's why skulls are explosive. By the way, these are all Molotovs, so we, we fucking want to get out of here as soon as possible. And then... Get rid of it. Because you can get splash damaged. God damn it. I'm glad I got the mask off that because I almost died. Hey, clown face. Don't hate clown face me. Alright, come on, drop a mask, drop a mask. No mask. How about you? You gonna drop one? Come on. You're messing with the crow, City of Angels. Come on, walk into it. Walk into it. Come on. God, look at that blocking animation. Look at him go. This game is just a variety of will they block or will they attack? Oh, here we go. Once you get them going, they get going. Good shit. How's it going, Gostrano? Hope you're doing good. Also, this is gone. Good shit. Two masks as well, so I get my life back. Go forward into the mask, please. Into I fucking whiffed the second mask. God, you're kidding me. I can't move. I can't run. There we go. The Resident Evil tank controls really make the game. I mean, it's one and the same. He's mine. Hey, clown face. Oh, here we go. We're, all right, now we're cooking. We're cooking. Shit. We're out of bullets. Oh, here we are. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Come on. Get the gun. He picked up the gun. You're kidding me. This is fine. How are they missing the head? Giraffe mode. Too good. Well, I got the mask. Drop the mask. Good shit. Dude, the squad will, like, destroy his kneecaps. It's amazing. Like, squatting that, like, squatting like that regularly would destroy anyone's kneecaps. The bouncer ripped this game off? This game actually did come out before the bouncer, technically, so yeah. Also, hold on. I want to see what level I'm in. I might be in the next level already. Maybe. I am. Good shit. Alright. Your knees. Now we're in the graveyard. They use uh, people's arms to try to kill you for some reason now. And they have power symbols on their back for some reason? I, I don't know why. Good job. Leap. Oh, here we go. The mask la lasts a random amount of time. The self-portrait of what? The interrupt mask, you're kidding me. That's fine. See, this game is perfect in the current climate. You need a mask to survive. Come on. Walk into the foot. Walk into the foot. Walk into the foot. Come on. Ooh, there we go. We got the double. Got the double. Keep it cooking. Keep it cooking. Oh my. Stop. They comboed me. And they dick kicked me. God damn it.
Oh, hey, don't worry, it works both ways. Dead. Giraffe mode's pretty wild, yeah. On your knees. Like in most cases, the best strategy is standing still and doing the, the lariat kick. Boom. Down for the count. The bruh is a fun one, yeah, bruh. We did, Froopy, we did. I don't exactly know if this correlates to the plot of the movie, because I haven't seen the movie. I saw the original Crow, but not this one. Probably for good reason, because I don't think the original Crow is about chest bumping uh, people until they died. Maybe it was. By the way, this is the most awkward angle to get in. Hold on, can I make it in? Yeah, there we go. Snacrifice. On your knees. Sacrifice. Shit. Well, that's fine. Time for machine gun. Machine guns instantly kill anything. They're kind of bullshit, as you can see. They are immense bullshit, in fact. The only thing more bullshit is the rocket launcher. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Seventh Seal. They aren't ready for this one. Come on, triple flip. Boom. That's how the crow does it. Alright, come on. Come on. Giraffe mode's hype. Have a good night. I'm glad you've been enjoying the giraffes so far. Also, I think we're actually going to be able to save some time. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yep, let's go. Time for the worst level of the game. I need to open up for a second. That really hit me. So it's not actually worth using that because you can accidentally blow up. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of those guys early. And then I want to grab a machine gun from over here. Because then they'll die like this. Hold on, Ramon. Shit! Well, that works. That doesn't work. Flip! Stay in range. There we go. Bruh. You're dead. Get you the gun. Fuck them. Well, I mean, their necks are broken. Yeah. It's horrifying. Jesus Christ. Okay. So here's the worst section of the game. And I might actually need to use my regular eyes at the end of this. Because I don't actually remember how to do this entirely. And I always forget. But every time you fail the upcoming section, you lose a whole health bar. It's really bad. So let's hope I remember within the first two tries. On your knees. There we go, okay. Hey, I gained a third health bar. I can keep that. Okay, that's good. And now we wait. I just want to mention, also, I like how the mullet goes all the way down his neck. Not only did his neck get bigger, his mullet got bigger. Alright, good. Come on, time to die. Time to die. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, wait. Good spot. Look at this. Kicking him until he dies. This really is all this game is. It took me forever to learn how to actually do this properly. Flip. I'm glad you're still laughing at this game. Kick. Okay, one moment. First try, baby! First fucking try! Look at that shit! Look at the shit! Not that not yet, though. Like, I know, like, it's, like people who know me who play this game know how hard that trick is. So if you're wondering why that's awkward, um... When you're moving, you have to hold up left. When you're landing, you have to hold down square and you have to alternate between the two. It's incredibly fucking awkward. Most people who play this game casually keep dying there and they can't pass it. Exactly, cat milk. So anyone who watches me normally knows I die like eight times. I got it first try. Holy shit. Like, I can genuinely, even with all cutscenes, get a new world record because I got that first try, I think. Like, you're kind of seeing right now how much time that saves. Like, you're about to see. It's pretty wild. Also, Skull Staff. You know what you do with the Skull Staff? Check it out. Throw it. I mean, sometimes you're just curious. It was recommended to me by a, a friend who is no longer with us, but... Uh, in order to honor them, I learned the speedrun of this game because they recommended it to me. So that's why I learned this game. These are arms? These are the arms. Hey, clown face. Uh, the crow mask are health. So grabbing the crow mask kills you. That's the only way to heal. It is sweet. I like awful games. And... Yeah, I was also a friend who liked Awful Games. And this is one of- this is like the- the favorite Awful Game he did. I think. Or one of the favorites, I think. So. I wanted to make that, uh, there. Also, I think we got it? Yep! Alright, time for the boss! She's invisible! Pleasure in pain. <laughs> She can be invisible. So the strategy. You know what it is. Chat, do I even need to tell you the strategy at this point? I cannot stress how hard that trick is. It's great, Righteous Jam. It's either the spinning heel kick or it's the chest bump. Also, I should mention, this boss's name is the Ninjutsu Death Bitch. He's down! Level 2 complete. That's actually like level 7. <laughs> it is! It is Slack Knight. Okay, I'm gonna remove these for a moment. Put them up. Day of Dead is the hardest level in this game. By far. Uh, the reason why is because there's essentially no actual checkpoints. And you have to deal with a bunch of enemies and a bunch of guns. So the general idea is I want to make sure I'm getting rid of the guns fast. And you can see the guns barely in the ground. So not only am I using the guns, I'm also getting rid of the guns once I'm done with them. So enemies can't get them.
And I'd be very careful with this. Come here. Wait, hold on. Get away from my gun. Alright, once I get this gun, we're good to go, and I can probably put them back on. Alright, good. Good shit. Hey, Bevan, how's it going? This is, uh, the crow. Hey, Kimmy. Hope you're doing good. The crow is about as good as you expect it to be. Yeah, these are gimp outfits. I don't know why. This level's called Day of the Dead. I, I don't think Day of the Dead's supposed to be celebrated by gimps, but uh, that's what this game is implying, I suppose. Good shit. Shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. And I got the crow mask. Badass. Oh, fuck, she knocked me over. Yup, whenever a gun falls to the ground, it will explode. Like all guns. That's just how guns work. If they hit the ground, they immediately explode. You fool! What have you done? I'm right in front of you! Holy shit, this guy is a maniac! Look at him! Please die. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Okay, come on. Where is she? There she is. Shit! I literally can't see where she went. Okay, hold on. How's it going, Moses Games? Are you doing good? God damn it. Oh, here we go. Should be in the pocket. Please die. No gun. No gun. You guys can probably see now why this is the hardest level in the game. Stop blocking! Well, at least he's running out of bullets. Holy shit. Come on. Please run out of ammo. Please die. Drop. Oh my god, thank you. Holy shit, that was way closer than it needed to be. Jesus Christ. Also, I need to see what's going on in the next area. What is the anime level in this game? This game is absolute fucking bullshit for this level. Like, just believe me when I say it. I have to lift it up until the end of Day of the Dead, pretty much. Did you drop a mask? Please drop a mask. You didn't drop a mask. God damn it. Clown <laughs> Guess who gets to do all that again, by the way? Hold on. Now your glasses? Thanks. Yep, this is why this level sucks the most.
And what's your point? Don't pick up the gun. Shoot him, you have a gun! Congrats on what? Someone tells me it's not gonna be a good comment coming afterward. It never is. There he is, get him! Hold on. Hold on. No, no, man. Let's see how this goes. Good fight. All right, I think I should be able to get the ammo now. By the way. Oh, where'd the ammo go? It's gone. This is also why gun management is very important in this run. Like, literally, get rid of the guns. Alright, I think I should be able to get the one back there, too. There we go. Good. See, this is way better now. And I should have ammo for both of them. Hold on. Well, that works. Most of that mostly works. I'll take it. Hold on. The guy with the grenade launcher just came into action. I'm worried about him. Come on, get this gun back here. Correct. All the guns in this game explode. If you touch the ground. This game is just kind of a mess of everything. So. Oh god, don't shoot. There you go. Wait, you're not dead? Did you block the bullet? What the fuck? How did you block a bullet? Shoot. There's also the fun fact where sometimes the bullets will circle the enemies for some fucking reason. That works. They're dead. That works. I'll take it. I'm glad you're enjoying this game thus far. Hmm. Area, okay. This might be the last guy, actually. Hold on. Let's take him, let's take him out. Alright, good shit. I think I had a really good day of the dead in my PV, but I had a really bad other part. I might need to play spawn at some point, but we'll see. I don't know. Shit happens. Alright, made it. Alright, Day of the Dead round 2 should be fine. Which spawn? I don't know. It's people are saying spawn. Oh, it's a feature. It's called giraffe mode. God. God. Walk into the kick. Hey, clown face. Hey, the hey clown face is back. Look at me corralling them. Just to kick him in the spine. I think my foot connected to his ass like fucking eight times in that. Jesus Christ. I feel bad. Crouch. The fight shuffle really sucks when you play this game more than like once. The worst part is Day of the Dead. Day of Dead is the hardest level of the game by far, as you can see here. Shit. 
Well, that was almost good. I killed her at least. Can I get the mask? Yeah, I got the mask. Showtime. Homie, don't do it two feet. Away. God. Well, it flew into a mask from that, so that's fine. Holy shit. Yeah, you can't get shallow crouching. It's, a, it's against the rules. Alright, there's a gun over here. I need that gun. It is fun to watch, but this game is just a pile of shit. Also, ah, uh, not yet. I think it's like four more minutes. Okay, hold on. There's one more guy, I don't know where he is. There he is. I wish I had more ammo, but this should be good for me at least. Like, this could have been surprisingly worse. Like, quite a lot too, I should add. Hold on. Again, the perfect strategy. You face your ass to them, and then you flip. That's just how close quarters combat works. They won't shoot you because you're ducking, and then when they try, you just flip above them. And then you chest bump them until they die. Come on. Time to die. You too. Good shit. Alright, if I get the gun, we're good to the end of the level. There it is. Alright, dude, I can actually get a world record even with the fucking cutscenes. That's hilarious. It's really stupid. I can't see. Well, that worked. Real record pace? Actually, yes. I'm not even memeing. Although, I'm the only one who runs this game, so that, again, I want to reiterate that part, too. This isn't exactly a competitive world record. I'm the only runner. Because I'm the only one dumb enough to do this fucking game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, she's dead. I think I saw bullets. Time to die. Gotta get the no rice somehow, true. Eat the gun. When the gun's done, just throw it at someone, it'll explode. Who needs to find new bullets? Just throw the fucking gun, right? Alright, almost done. Where's my... There it is. The juice. Wait, someone's still in the bar? Who's in the bar? You're in the bar. Time to die. I mean, pretty much. Wait, walk into this. What are you doing? Good shit. That's not even a Twitch goal. I just like weird games. I like playing them. I don't even play a Mario to feel good about myself. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, I think that might actually be that. Oh, thank God. Let's see you again. Yep. All right, time for the boss. Oh yeah. No, don't stomp on the dick. He didn't do it. Okay, good. Oh yeah. Hope you're ready for- oh yeah. Oh yeah? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, now we're back in action. I get focus again. Holy shit. I think that was the worst 3D glasses we've had in a while. Alright, this is good. Chest bumping? Good. Bruh. Bruh. 
Apparently we're the ones going bra, by the way. Oh yeah? Bruh. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't break my spine, and don't stop on the dick afterward. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah? Stop it! God damn it. This move's just annoying. It doesn't do anything. Oh, finally. Time to step on his cock and balls. Oh, wait. I missed. How do I miss his cock and balls? Oh, yeah? We do need to win this fight, by the way, though. It's a very different game, Michi, yes. I said today was awful games. I did say that. Oh, we gotta go. Okay, we got the pocket. Maybe. Shit! Dude, that was half my fucking bar! Alright, now you're walking in. There, he's down! Down for the count! Apparently, according to the crow. Isn't it just a great speedrun? Nothing personal, sport. Guess you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wrong place at the wrong time. No, it's the name of the hundred biddies. I'm glad you're enjoying the crow. Okay, now that we're at the club, the game gets a lot easier. Really, Deo Dead's the hardest level in the game. If you beat Deo Dead, you're good for the rest of the run, ideally. Hey, clown Hold on. Good shit. King shit. Yeah, I hope you're doing good, Norton. Hold on, do the classic flip, shoot. Hold on. Oh, Kitty Wolf, wait, do you know the story of the crow? They weren't threatening to kill them, they they killed them. Like, they just straight up fucking murdered him and his son. There's a reason why he's pissed. Like, the crow's in the right here, weirdly enough. The plot of this game is that all the people in the beginning of the game killed you and your son. So you're, you've got been taken over by the spirit of vengeance to get your revenge on everyone who killed you and your son. So it's a story about vengeance. Yeah, that's the movie. They murdered you and your son, though, so you're kind of in the right, I'm not gonna lie. Well, oh, yeah, it's powerful. It's a powerful bullet. Also, thank God. You know, I might, might need to keep that one. Yeah, keep things relevant. Also, make sure you listen to mods. Very important. If you don't, there are dire consequences. Now, that's probably the biggest rule. If you don't listen to mods, is the worst. She just really likes the crow. That's why, Sanhill. How dire is dire? The utmost serious is the number one rule, really. Behind, like, obvious things. I ran out of bullets. Well, back to old reliable. Gun. Bruh. Bruh. Come here and get your kick. Killer. Well, I would say not wor don't worry about it too much, Demon King. Oh, exactly, George Costanza. Exactly. 
Also, if you bet you're wondering why don't I just go to the end location, you can't actually leave a level or a section until you've killed everyone. So I'm doing this because I have to. I'm not- I don't want to fight everyone, you have to fight everyone. The game forces you. Because you're the spirit of vengeance, I guess. And the spirit of vengeance wants to go bruh. I got a beer bottle. Take this, Ska Ban. This game deserves a reboot, I agree. He hit me. It's not just against giraffes. We're also a giraffe. No, that's the Crow 1. You have the right idea, but the Crow 2 is because of Brendan... Brendan Lee died, I think. The ultimate strategy. Duck down, flip. Flip. And shoot. Y you gotta love this fucking strat, right? Just jump, shoot. Jump, shoot. Wait, I went the wrong way. There we go. I think that might be the next fight, by the way. How's it going, Jesus Juice? Hope you're doing good. Nope, still going. All right, good shit. Yep, this is the mega. This is a Mega Man game. You're exactly right. God, he stabbed me. My gun exploded. I give the hay clown faces around here. Yeah, Kane. Uh, it's giraffe mode. All good games have giraffe mode on. Liberty Sands, it's giraffe mode. Also known as my AGDQ submission. For awful games. At the very least, I can consistently do this game under like an hour and a half. I feel good about that. I think that may be the end of that, by the way, right there. Hold on. Yep, alright, time for curve. Sorry, sport. Alright, so curve is a mix between one of the easiest bosses and one of the hardest. Alright, now we're good. God. Stop kicking me. Thank you. Okay, this is good. So the thing with the curve is you want to slowly whittle him down. If you get too far away, he will shoot you with grenades. Jesus Christ. Sounds horrifying. This is a legit game mode. Like, this is like Donkey Kong mode, essentially. Like, it's a cheat code you put in that gives everyone long necks. It has no noticeable benefit, and in fact, it can crash the game at a certain point in the game. So I'll be actually resetting, or uh, not resetting the game, but I'll be quitting the menu after this fight, so I can go back and turn off draft mode. Because you have to turn it off for one moment. I'm not kidding when I said it, by the way. For this fight, this is the most ideal strategy. I mean, normally you want to get more hits, obviously, but, uh... You know... It pretty kind of sucks. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this amazing gameplay right now. If you're wondering who routed this game, it was entirely me. Every bit of routing this game has, I did. I'm not proud of it. Actually, I kind of am. He's dead. <laughs> we got him. He's down.
I am very proud of this, yes. I put a lot of work into this shit. Also, I finally have a decent submission for Marathon, surprisingly enough. Honestly, I would ask for like an hour 30 estimate just because this game is just wild in how it varies. I can't turn on stick either, I can't. Like, it will crash the game. Also, there's Terra Reed, I think. PS1 Terra Reed is kind of horrifying. And you're going to be Birdseed. So like I mentioned, if you turn on giraffe mode, this is the one part of the game you have to turn it off. Uh, hold on. Uh... Okay, and then we're on the tower. Nice. Most special speedrun I've seen? Clue. Easily Clue. Like, that's the Chad's game right there. Clue. I don't know. I don't know why the game breaks when you turn on giraffe mode here. I'm assuming because it can't handle the amount of sprite work in one area of this game, so it gets kind of weird. Alright, he's dead. It's great! This is the screen in the game. I think it's the background that has something to do with it, and the amount of sprites that show up on the screen with the fat guys. So at a certain point, the game will just crash if you go here. This is genuine har hardware, by the way. This is a PlayStation 2. I don't know why it does this. It, it just crashes for some fucking reason. You can't handle all the giraffe. Also, now we're fighting monks. Oh yeah, Clue's a fast one. It's impressive. Yeah, I'm on a PlayStation 2. This is a PS1 game now. All PlayStations 2 are backwards compatible. Come on. It is PlayStation 1, but PlayStation 2 consoles are backwards compatible. So if you own a PlayStation 2, you can play PlayStation 1's games. Worship. Good fight. I use one of the slow ones because it's usually much faster. Yep. Clue is a very interesting speedrun. Okay, dead. I don't have a PS1 to play on anymore, so I'm assuming it'll probably still crash. I don't know what that is. So now. Boy, I ran out of bullets, really? Also, it doesn't sound like a horror game. I only play horror games or horror Jason games. You know, I think it's just because draft mode's so perfect. Wait, where are you going? You don't need the sword. Throw it at him. Thank you. Oh yeah, the coolest part is you just hold down X, you'll automatically pick up items. I want to play Kudika. It's on the list, but I've not played it yet. He kicked me in the dick, and now I'm wheeling. Also, if you're wondering, there are punches in this game, they're just not nearly as good as the kick. What, for Kudika? I don't know what Tenchu is. So no. It doesn't also doesn't sound like a horror game. Stealth Ninja Gun on the PlayStation 1? That doesn't sound like a horror game, so no. Judah. God. I don't go I don't go to the guy at Burger King and ask him to make me a Jersey Mike sandwich. I only play horror games here. That's the jam. 
I got the good gun now. Like how good this gun is right here. You just walk right here. Hold on, just, just walk here and... You do? They probably don't like you there, I'm sorry. Carmageddon also doesn't sound like a horror game. It's like a demolition derby sort of thing. Send your ways. Well, there you go. You must worship. Hey, is that guy just firing the gun randomly? Oh, god damn it! Time to die. Alright, if you want to roll the record, you have to use regular mode. You can't use giraffe mode. I think I'll be good without Carmageddon. That's the general principle, by the way. If it's not a horror game, I'm not playing it on stream. Oh, shit. Judah. Which, well, you know what? If it works, it works. I have played no more, actually. Nah, blood, it's gore itself isn't really horror adjacent. But, yeah, I'm not. Judah. We should be good. Don't fire that gun. Just calm down, homie. Don't fire that gun in front of me. God, I hate this guy. Oh my god. Now they're approaching, that's good. No, don't! Don't shoot! What a dumbass! And he stepped on my dick! Not cool, homie. Not cool. Fuck it, you know what? He's dead. <laughs> there we go. Okay, fine, it worked. I'll take it. It's great, isn't it, Machine Gun Weasel? I'm really getting a world record with all cutscenes. How? Why? I agree, Tortoise, I agree. Sarah! Ash, you've got to get out of here! Judah's killed the crow and taken your power. That'd be cool, Ricky, but I don't know. Come here, Sarah. Just as it was yours. It was you who ordered my son's death. <laughs> Here's Judah. I've tasted the blood of the crow and cut your link to the land of the dead. Go to hell. Already been there, and I must admit I liked what I saw. You're a crow. Let's see you fly. Here's Borderland. Judah is a dickhead, yes. Here's Borderland. This is going to be the weirdest boss fight you might ever look at. We're going to play it out from here because I don't roll the record. matter is he's gonna summon enemies and they randomly explode you just need to kill anyone who walks towards you but the bodies will explode so you can't have them be close to you this is the whole fight Mortal Kombat kind of it's yeah it's called Borderland for this level, and uh, it's pretty much Mortal Kombat. 
All right, last one, I think, and then we should be good to go. Come on. Thank you. That hurt way too fucking hard. Oh, one more. Oh, my. You're kidding me. Good shit. Now he's dead. Good, good job. I can actually get world record right now. This is fucking stupid. Where and of all cutscenes. Precious power now. No! <laughs> if you're wondering why is my time so good, I learned how to do the hardest trick in the game. Well, I got it first try. I literally saved nine minutes on it. Like, this is starting to become optimized. Right? It's, well, I mean, in fairness, I want to grind this to a better time. I think I get, like, sub one hour, but I actually get, like, 54 right now, according to my time. Okay, so the final boss. Right, he has grenades. Nothing can save you. Take a guess how we're going to do this. Take a wild guess. Wait, cock and ball torture. Good job. If I can ram him, we'll ram him. God, no. Good kick. Okay, hold on. The more free stomps you get, the better. Ooh, wait a minute. The more knockout kicks? This is good shit. Good shit. Come on. Come on. God, no, don't, don't stop him. Thank you. God, I hit him like five times. Wait, we can do this. We're almost done. Just don't die. The Judah fight's so feast or famine. Wait. <gasps> That's it. Yo. With all cutscenes, we got a new Crow World record. This is terrible. <laughs> this is awful. If you want to be in the Twitter screenshot, feel free to type, hey clown face. Just type, hey clown face. By sadness. Why? Can't enter heaven, so they I want a good cut, I want a good... Trapped between our world and the next. Searching for a way to end their pain. Hoping that somehow, someday, they'll be reunited with the ones they love. Let's see. This is the crow. 